In today's how-to video, we're going to be demonstrating one method of upgrading Windows 98 to an SSD. Let's get started. Now, we're not going to use any kind of VM or screen capture. We're going to be using real hardware. And for this video, we'll be using the old Intiva Windows 98 machine. So Windows 98 is already installed, and uh, the reason why we chose this method is because we want to save this OS as we got some uh, games and programs already installed, and we really don't want to lose it. For this method to work, the Windows 98 PC is going to have to be able to boot to CD-ROM. Uh, I know it sounds a little foolish, but uh, not all PCs from the early 90s could. Also, we're going to need some kind of imaging or cloning software. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use Acronis. No special reason, it's just what we have uh, ready and available. Also, you're going to need some kind of uh, storage media. There's a lot of different ones to choose from. For example, you got SD, Compact Flash, or the method that we're going to be using, and that's a SSD with a IDE to SATA adapter. There's no special reason why we chose this 8 gigabyte Samsung drive other than it being the closest thing we had on hand to the 9.5 IBM drive that's currently failing. So to begin, we're going to have to shut down this machine and install this SSD. Uh, we'll set this one to the master with these onboard jumpers and we'll set the IBM drive to the slave. So now that we got that done, we're going to go ahead and boot this PC and get into the BIOS. Now let's change the uh, boot order, and it should be right under features. We'll come right down and go to boot sequence, and we want to change it to the CD-ROM first. So before we reboot, we'll go ahead and put in our imaging software. We'll go ahead and hit enter and reboot. So we should be seeing our drives. There's our Samsung and our IBM. And uh, we got our boot from CD-ROM starting a Cronus loader. So we want the uh, top one right here, and we'll uh, go ahead and select that. Now, uh, depending on how old your PC is, this may take a while, so we'll go ahead and fast forward. So with the Kronos booted, we'll go ahead and go to Tools and Utilities, and we'll select Clone Disk. Uh, we're going to select Manual, just so we can make sure everything is right. We'll click Next. Uh, it's asking us our source disk, and we want to use our IBM disk as our source disk. So we'll click Next, and our destination as our Samsung SSD. We'll click Next again. Uh, we'll go ahead and let it uh, change the sizes to fit the drives. And now that we got everything set, we'll go ahead and hit Proceed and let it clone. Uh, this may take some time, so we'll fast forward as needed. With this now complete, we're going to go ahead and close this out. We'll remove our disk and uh, we will uh, reboot the machine. So now upon reboot, we'll see again that uh, our SSD is actually the master. So that's the one we'll be booting off of. There we are right there. Uh, I thought this might happen as I left both drives in. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect the IBM drive and see if that will take care of the problem.
So we should just see the uh, SSD here in the boot list. There you go right there, slave is gone. We'll go ahead and do a normal boot and just uh, see what happens. So there we are, we're running off of our new SSD. We'll take a look at my computer. And uh, we've got uh, 7.4 of our eight gigs all set. There we are. How you upgrade to an SSD on a Windows 98 machine. Knowledge is power.